is up? Welcome back to my channel. Recently I did my iPhone XS Max unboxing video and in the comments a lot of you guys wanted to see what's on my iPhone and so I figured I would show you guys today and I actually already recorded this video and I ended up deleting the footage on my camera so I'm gonna unbox again some fun phone cases that I received and then we're gonna actually get into what's on my iPhone. When I first received my phone I did not have a case for it and then I just picked one out that was a basic clear case, nothing cute, nothing special because when I got the phone it was relatively new but a company actually reached out to me and they wanted to send me some phone cases so that is what I have right here in this box and I actually have one on my phone already and so they are called Chroma phone cases so thank you so much for sending me these cases it was so sweet of you and I really really do love these phone cases I think they're adorable and what I really liked about their company is that they are 100% recyclable and they are also BPA S and F free and so I just thought that was really cool and they're also cheaper to buy because they have changeable back plates so you can buy this like outer case with this which is $40 but then if you want to keep this on you can change your back plates and they're only 15 bucks. In the bag that I definitely already unboxed I'm going to still have the same excitement don't you worry. But this is what the back plates came in. I thought the packaging was so freaking cute and then the actual frame came in this little box here so they have baby pink hot-ish pink white and black so I obviously went with the pink one and then they actually sent me four different back plates which I thought was so nice of them so this is the first one that is on my phone it is just like a geometric like white line box pattern which I really liked and then these are the other three here so this one has daisies on it which I thought was so cute I'm gonna wait until spring to put this one on because it is getting colder but this one was definitely one of my favorites and then there was this like little speckled case. So there's pink, orangey, cream, blue, purple on it. And this was called the M Poppins case. And I just thought it was just a fun little speck of color. And this last case holds dear to my heart because if you guys can see, it is a bread phone case. And it says, I love carbs. And in case you guys didn't get the memo quite yet, Hi, I have diabetes and carbs are a big NO in the diabetic community but um, I have them anyway and also I thought it was really fun because two of my best friends have celiac disease and then another one's gluten intolerant. It was calling my name so I thought it was really funny and so thank you so much for sending me these cases. I think they're so adorable and also I have a discount code for you guys if you would like to make a purchase. You guys can use the code k 711 at checkout for 10% off. Getting on to my actual phone. It's super boring. I know I only have one page but just to go across from the top left I have messages, calendar, photos, and camera. I don't know, is there anything fun in my photos? No, not really. There's a bunch of um, fall photos that I've taken. Um, that one's fun. I really like that one, to be honest. And then I have YouTube, so make sure to go subscribe if you guys are not already. And then I have maps, clock, and weather. So look at all these alarms, you guys. I Too many. And then I have weather, which, oh my god, it's supposed to snow. Heck to the no. Uh-uh, no thank you. And then I have notes, reminders, the iTunes app stores, and then I have my travel slash bank folders. I never use wallet unless it's for my boarding pass, but then I love using Airbnb, especially for when I travel. When I was in LA, I actually went surfing through an Airbnb company and it was so much fun. And I just honestly love looking at all of these houses and apartments because just there's so like look how fun that is like fun love 70 74 dollars for a night okay like how nice how nice is that you know and then another app that I like to use all the time when I'm going out to dinner is open table I mainly use this app in New York because man the wait there is just so long for food but I definitely like using open table because I'm not one to wait for my food a couple other apps I have are United and American which are the two airlines that I fly mostly. I have Venmo, Discover, and Chase, which are my banks. And then I also have Hopper, which is just an app to check for cheap flights. 
So I just use this a lot to check lights just to see when they might be cheaper so when I should buy them. And then I also just have PayPal which is another just boring app. And then here I have voice memos, contacts, find my iPhone, calculator, really boring, nothing that special. The two games I do have on my phone are Paper.io and Helix Jump. I mean, I guess it's fun. I mean, it's fun to play like when I'm bored in the airport. And then I have Bitmoji because all my friends convinced me to get it and now I have it and I don't know what to do with it. And then I have Wish, which I have bought off before and I'm thinking about doing a video with them really, really soon. But it's just there hanging out. And then I have my settings and my Facebook, which I'm young. I don't use Facebook. It's just there. And then I have Instagram. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Plug in myself. And then I also have Snapchat, which I really just use for personal use. I never post anything that's like social media related on there. And then I have like my YouTube creator studio that just shows all the comments and stuff like that. And then I have Spotify. I've already started listening to Christmas music, I'm sorry. But I actually don't use my Spotify. Pros of being in a relationship, you can use each other's stuff, essentially. And then over here, I have my social app. So I use Muses and Pinterest, mostly. Pinterest, you already know, okay? Like, I have my food, my wedding plan for five years. I have gift ideas, Christmas, cute date ideas, Halloween just passed, you know. I am ready, okay? All my YouTube videos come from Pinterest. And then I also use Muses as a networking app. So this is what my page is. I'll link it down below if you guys want to download the app if you guys are a brand or business or influencer. It's a great way to meet other people. And then the rest of them, um, I'm going to be honest, I don't use. But there's GroupMe for school, uh, Bus Tracker for campus, Sweatcoin, Heartbeat, Sucrus, I can't pronounce it, but it's just a app that lets you know when there's different events happening in your area. I only use this when I'm in LA because nothing happens here and only things happen in LA. My most used folder would be photography. So what I use to create my YouTube thumbnails are Fonto and Superimpose. And then I also use Unnum or Unnum, however you want to pronounce it, to to decide my Instagram theme layout. So there's a little sneak peek of other stuff I'm gonna be posting soon. And then I also use Avant 10 or Avant, uh, uh, Avant 10, Avante, I don't know. Whiteagram and Canva for editing my photos. And then I do have Perfect 360. You know why? Because I will edit out a zit if I have one, okay? I'm gonna be honest, okay? Exposing myself, yes, I edit out zits. I don't put 10 layers and white in my eyeballs and white in my teeth, but I will edit out a zit. And then I also have Pocket Video, again, for YouTube, and then Photo Fix, and then I have a bunch of just Adobe uh, apps because I am now minoring in graphic design, so it's just fun to have on my phone to play around with. And then I have my medical tab, so any other diabetics or late, hello. Um, I just have my Dexcom app, oops, I'm a little high, oh well. And then I'm gonna be switching to Freestyle Libre, so I just have that app on there as well. And then moving down to the bottom, I have FaceTime, phone call, Safari, and then I have my two mail tabs. So Gmail is for work and personal, and then Outlook is for school. And that is everything that is on my iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it interesting, maybe found some apps that you guys might want to download, or maybe we have some apps in common. I don't know. <laughs> let me know down below. And also let me know if you guys have any apps that you recommend I download, whether that's for photo editing, fun games to play, because clearly I have nothing on this phone and I'm a boring old lady. So with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed and make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe down below for more videos and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys!